Big Body God did it again. You woke up on the right side of the dirt, so let's give God a praise. This is John Lakin and Friends. What's up, everybody? This is your boy, John Lakin, and welcome to John Lakin and Friends. Welcome to John Lakin and Friends. We are so excited that you decided to worship with us on today. We're going to lift up a song that says, I can't live without you. I can't live without him. Come on. Oh, we're going back 20 years with this. This is an old, an old number from the first record. I want you to help us sing it if you ever heard it before. For over 100 years, the Holly family has been helping families honor their loved ones. When it's time, let our family help your family celebrate the life of those you love. J.P. Holly Funeral Home and Crematory, family owned and operated since 1917. Blessings to you. This is Bishop Dr. Carl D. Perry coming to you with John Lakin and Friends. It's a privilege to have this opportunity to share with you all. Have you ever dealt with being fearful? How about being apprehensive? Dealing with uncertainty in your life or about your future? Everybody's dealing with these things at this time that we're in. Life is all about changes. And when you go through change, you have to change with change. What do you mean change with change? You have to deal with what happens and move along with it. That means if you don't change, then things are going to be changing around you and you'll be left behind. Apostle Paul dealt with his mentee by the name of Timothy. He says, I need you to stir up the gift that's on the inside of you. That same gift that was in your grandmother, that was in your mother. I need you to stir this gift up and bring it forward. Then he began to deal with his timidity. He says, God has not given you the spirit of fear, but the spirit of power, love, and that of a sound mind. As we go through life and we deal with uncertainty, one of the things that we find ourselves dealing with is fear. And as we deal with fear, sometimes we have to check ourselves. We have to remind ourselves that God is able to do exceeding and abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that worketh on the inside of us. That's right. The Word of God that you've heard preached, the Word of God that you've read, the Word of God that you've seen expressed around you is working in you. You've just got to stir that gift up. I want you to be encouraged and know that you're not in this thing alone. Just like you're dealing with these emotions, other people are dealing with it as well. I had a professor to tell me one time. He says, know that your emotions are just like gas. Eventually, they'll pass. Until next time, you be encouraged. Know that we love you. This is Bishop Dr. Carl D. Perry coming to you with John Lakin and Friends. Blessings to you. <laughs> Welcome back to John Lakin and Friends. We are super excited to have, oh my God, I don't know if I've ever had anyone become my sister overnight. Yeah. yeah. But immediately upon minutes. meeting her, incredibly beautiful spirit, incredibly oh, beautiful person. And so let me much. tell y'all something. This young lady can sing and she got hits. <laughs> I'm talking about, I'm talking about wide as the sky Woo! and Jesus, I Jesus. love you. I mean, let me mm. tell you something. We have the incredible um, new artist of the year for 2019. Come on. Miss Isabel Davis, how are you doing <laughs> I'm today? I'm doing so good and wow. I'm even better now that I'm here. Thank you so much for having me on the oh, show. We are it's an honor. so excited to have it's you. It's an honor. So let's get into this thing. First yeah. off, let's start from the beginning. Where okay. are you from? Yeah, so I am originally a Texan. I'm from San Antonio, Texas, born and raised. Okay. Yep, uh, born into a, a biracial family, so 
pero amo black skin. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Se hablas español like un poquito. Really? <laughs> sí, okay. sí. Okay. Yes, so, you know, a lot of times people will hear me yeah. sing it, you know, minister in Spanish and in English. Oh, I, that's there's awesome. a reason why, because okay. I have a whole side of the family who speaks Wonderful. Spanish. So, yeah, so, um, but born and raised in San, San Antonio, and yeah. my dad was the first psalmist of this little storefront ministry that I was birthed oh, into. That, you know, that's, that's I'm a church baby, power. church that's baby. That's where you get the power. We talked about it. Listen, big big <laughs> little, church got power, but it, it's something different. <laughs> something different about Don't the little storefront. Store uh, Let me tell you something. That's right. And yeah. you know, my uh, you know my mom was involved in the small corral. You know, she was help helping okay. to kind of you know Hold start on. the ministry. Now, which one was Mexican? My mom. My your mom's mom. Mexican. Okay, so your mom was in the My Mexican mom is corral. Mexican. <laughs> he made the whole church Hispanic. Now, it was, <laughs> it was a little Pentecostal church, but it was definitely multiracial. I mean, okay. a little bit of everything, right? I like it. But um, so, yeah, my mom and dad were heavily involved in the little ministry there. So, yes. as we say, you know, my drug problem started. Okay. Um, they drug me to church on Sunday. <laughs> Listen, can't it spiritual, say it now. <laughs> he said it. I'm he said it. it. Did he say it? Yeah, <laughs> you get it. Now. Oh, listen, they'll listen, take you. It took all of that. It took vacation Bible school. All it took of it. Uh-huh. Rehearsal, uh-huh. All uh-huh. night prayer, revival, yeah. all Sunday all of it. school. And we still was crazy. <laughs> so what makes you think these babies exactly. gonna make it without that's, being in that's church? That's the thing, right? Wow. Like they need they need we needed him, like yes. you said. But I love that I love that, you know, people, some people frown on that. Like, oh, you were always in church. Like what you know, and our parents, we couldn't, you know, do anything, yeah, <laughs> any like extracurricular because <laughs> We can't even listen to certain music, uh, uh, you know yeah, what I mean? We gotta sneak and listen that's, to Mariah and Whitney and God. And, and, listen, and all of them come from the church. Exactly. All of them are the same choir. Exactly. <laughs> we, I know. So I true. It. I, I don't it. I don't forsake those days though, because I feel like just being able to be immersed in those atmospheres, man, there was so much fire and yes. power and oil. And I always say I believe, you know, so much of that was caught, right? Mm, you can't teach that, but on. I'm a product of the residue that of the oil that rested. Did yes. in those spaces and in those yes. houses and just the intercession that went over, oh you know, God. that was happening in the room when we were sleeping. Listen, we and, and the fact that you can source it. You come, know, on. Like, come on, come on. The oil can be traced there is back. There's a sound that come comes on. from that kind of, uh, good. of pull on God. That's you know, so good. You know, being in those atmospheres. Yeah. You know, and that's why, you know, half the battle is simply showing up. You, it is. You, it was so unpredictable. You didn't know what you, God wanted to do. You ne- and you still don't. And you don't, <laughs> and you don't know how far reaching you know how far lasting that oil will be. You don't know. And the the beauty of that is like, I'm getting to see my kids now. Like Mm. I pray over them and I'm I'm watching them, you know, they want to be involved musically and they're, I mean, they just, they love obviously mom songs, which that's big for me. I don't blame them, I love them Oh, thank you so much. But that's the goal, like that the Mm. next generation would catch that fire and burn for God. My name is Betty Spells Price. I'm the president and CEO of Carper Construction and Design Incorporated, a general contracting and construction management firm located in the heart of Columbia, South Carolina. Our clients include educational facilities, religious institutions, retail establishments, administrative buildings, and so much more. We specialize in creating beautiful spaces with functionality and community at the heart. As God blesses us, we bless others. Our dream is to make your dream come true. Cabra is the one-stop shop for all of your construction needs. So you got a, you're a mother of three. I'm a mama of three. All right, let's talk about balance now because yeah. you're a whole... Oh yes. Incredible artist. Oh, thank uh, you. And let's 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 even cut forth to uh how all of this began to happen so yes. quickly. Yes. Well, seemingly I remember when quickly, I started, yes. I, well, seem, yeah, because yeah, I know yeah, yeah. I know it had an origin. Absolutely. But as it relates to exposure in industry, yeah. I remember when I first heard the call, when yes. I first started hearing your music and, and you have one of these sultry voices. Mm. It reminds me of like the Gladys, mm. uh the uh the um those sultry alto that Stephanie Mills, yes. uh-huh. warm singing, but still oh, 
very powerful yeah. um, anointing, like like the worshipful sound. Yes, yes. That you birth, you can tell it was birth in prayer and Come in on. time with God. It, it so is. How, that's, import, how important is that preparation for what you release? Let's talk man, about that. Man, that's a great, great place to start because I feel like as worship leaders, and, and that's yes. my heart, right? I love corporate worship. Mm. I love being able to engage the body of Christ into an encounter in His presence, Come right? Come on, yes. And your question was, you know, how important is that, mm. you know, that time that you spend? And I feel like it is, mm. what? That is essential. Everything. Like, I always say, you know, it, it starts in your own private and personal prayer time and, oh, yes. and the spaces that you create, the altars that you create on your own time because you can't step onto a stage and lead people somewhere you've never been. Never been. You can't do yes. it. Yes. You can't, it can't be done. And so it's those personal, those one-on-one -on -one encounters and, mm. and you creating space to do those perpetually, right? Yes. Because how do you know what heaven is saying? How do you know oh how God wants God. to move? You're going Come from on. church to church to church. Listen. The needs are different. Yes. We all have something we need from God. Mm. Well, how do you know what that thing is? Mm. You you know, we've got it. We're, we're sometimes, you know, we're promoting a song or Come we're promoting, promoting an album. Yeah. But God wants to move in that. You know, mm. you've I've done White as the Sky in hundreds of churches. I'm sure. And God may say, Lean in on healing right here. Wow. So, okay, it's the same song, yes. but if you open up space for Holy Spirit to move within My that song, God. he can speak spontaneously in that yes. moment, like live stream. You know what I'm Come saying? On. And so, but I wouldn't know that. I couldn't yes. move that way if I'm not in relationship Listen, with him, right? Actively hearing. And as actively a worship leader, hearing. I tell people you have That's to be essential. you have to multitask. You absolutely you're in the have middle to multitask. Of singing a verse, Come on. And you're like hearing, okay, now where are we going? <laughs> right. Or after you say a line, you hear something or feel something yeah. on it, and it's like, no, there's some more right there. You Come need to on. stay there. Come on. Stay there until until you get all out of it. Until yes. you get all out of it. And, yeah. and you're speaking my language because you're right. It's there's those moments where God is like, mm. lean in here. Yes. Like it's it could be something as simple as a declaration. Come on. You're in the room, Lord. Wait, wait. You're wait. in the room this morning. We know yes. that he's meeting us here right now, yes. but someone needed to hear it because mm. they didn't know or they didn't feel his presence yet. Yes. Well, here we are affirming that God is here. And everything Come that on. you need happens when the presence of the Lord mm. walks in the room, when God walks and in the room, when Jesus walks in the room. Every yes. need we have is met right, right there. Right there. Because let me tell you something. And the beauty of it yeah. with the teamwork. Come on. You know, when we talk about praise teams, Ooh. I don't think people understand that you have to team in spirit. Come on. Because with what you sung just now, huh. the team and the musicians, <laughs> everyone would have to know we got to get there. That part. And as a yes. I love that you said that because we were we were declaring that that was mm. this moment that happened in my church a couple weeks ago. Wow! And the team grabbed a hold of oh it. Oh my God! Literally, we started declaring it over the house, and Hallelujah. and like you said, it's Hallelujah. like it takes you and your team being, being spiritually sensitive, sensitive oh my God. to hear from heaven and go. Yes. That's a song of the Lord. Yes, this right. No, here. we didn't rehearse this. Listen, but I'm ready. Sometimes new school singers or different mm -hmm. people they don't understand mm -hmm. that. All of this is a language. It is. It's, it's a, language, a language. Not just to God, but to each other. And I, I often, uh, when talking about songwriting, being a worship leader, yeah. you're often giving language to people who may not know how to pray. Mm. Who may that not part know right what there. to say or how to read, but they know how to sing. What a song gives them a way to talk <laughs> to God, you know? No, it's I'm just so saying, true. It's just beautiful. So it does, When though. you get with worship it leaders, gives it ignites language. that fire. Yeah. Someone in the room is going... And that's how I feel. Listen. That's how I feel. It, I, we were talking earlier about, um, you know, the song, Jesus, we love you. They don't know that that's it. Go ahead. I, girl, you carried on. on let me tell you, <laughs> that was a carry on praise. I was a like, carry on praise. Beautiful. But. You know, listen, I was I was sharing how, you know, that I would love to take the credit for writing that. I didn't write it, but mm. I remember sitting in a worship night. Come on. With a, a powerful ministry, Bethel Worship Wonderful. at the time. And they did a worship night. And I remember I'm at the altar, a room full of people. Mm. And I shared how I the room was filled. Yes. But it literally felt like, like it was just, it was just yes. me and Jesus. That's worship. And that, and that, when when I heard that lyric, that chorus, it was you know. Well, it started out right. Old things have passed away. Yes. Your love has stayed the same. Mm. When I tell you, the tears just begin to yes. roll down my face because mm. I was just reflecting on. 
the goodness of God. Like Come on. we don't always do right by him, oh my right? God. There are times we don't prioritize Jesus. We Listen. don't prioritize his presence. We don't yes. prioritize, you know, things like we should as it relates to the things of God. Beautiful. But here, yet and still, he turns around and prioritizes us. us. Listen, mindful of us. <laughs> mindful. And when I tell you, it's those moments that just keep you, oh my God, hungry for more of him. And also humble. Because you're like, God, you you still choose me despite. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs> you know, and so uh, we, oh, man, it, it was one of those things where, you know, you just reflect on those moments and you go, God, my heart just has, I mean, it's filled, it's overflowing with gratitude mm, for you because of the kind of God that you are mm. to us. You're faithful. Listen, you're holy. You're loving. God. You're merciful. How can you not? Want to give God all the things that we are not sometimes. You know, He is <laughs> He's overwhelming all us. Overwhel- that's Listen. the word. Completely overwhelming us, and my heart is moved. And I feel like when we, when we say, "Here, God, here is my response to yes. that. Here, here's my heart's cry. Here's my love, my adoration, my affection Wonderful. to a God who completely." loves us like no one else can. Like, Listen. oh my God, it, it's a different kind of worship. It's the kind where no one has to say, lift your hands. No, <laughs> they don't have to, you're already open. You're already open. Yes. Psalm 103 and 1 says, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. My soul will bless the Lord and all that is within me. Oh, my soul will bless the Lord and all that is within me.
listen. And the other thing I was going to uh, comment about yeah. was that your music, I said it was thematic. Yes. It's, it's anthem style singing. Mm. It's invitations for the room <laughs> to join. Invitations. Yes. Invitations. Say that room. again. So the so people good. in the room, they automatically are enticed yes. to participate. And 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 that is that comes from years of leading worship. Mm -hmm. And every song and every style, I believe, in gospel has its place. Mm -hmm. But for me, yeah. I'm so intentional about mm -hmm. if someone has walked into this space for the first time, what are the simple hooks and choruses that won't take them the entire song before they can engage in oh the my God. experience, That's right? So, true. so, Almighty God, listen, we need you right, right now. now. And by two or three times in, you got it. Mm. Um, you know, same with, of course, even the new single, I Will Rejoice. Yes, we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. Yes. But that's the running thought is, how can we quickly mm. get into this so that you Everybody. are, mm -hmm. everyone, we're, we're pulling down yes. heaven together. We are going after God together. Come on. We're going to sit at his feet together. We're yes. going <laughs> to lay our head in his lap you. together. <laughs> and <laughs> you and know? the thing is, those are the songs that after you leave, yeah. you yeah. wake up in the morning <laughs> and there's a haunting thought. Come on of what worship was the night before. You, and you still have that you hook. You still have that you. hook. It's stuck in your spirit. It's, it's stuck literally. in your head. And you're right. Yes. And you're right. So it's, let's talk about I Will Rejoice. Yes. Because first off, everyone has been, uh, you've had three incredible uh, radio singles yeah. that have done incredible work uh, that Thanks we God. know. And listen, first off, let me tell you something. I don't know if y'all know this or not, <laughs> but the fact that this young lady is a real singer and an artist that can, at the drop of a hat, open her mouth and sound like the record. <laughs> ain't, ain't no auto tune in here. My, I, don't, I can't find no help. Ain't, ain't nothing in here to help her sound like she sounds. She is singing, singing. My, oh God. my God. So, I, so talk about I Will Rejoice. Oh, what, how did you find man. the song? Where oh, this it? is good. This is good. I'm, I'm so excited about this one um, because, as you said, you know, I've had the opportunity to release and share at radio the ballads, the anthems, yes. right? But again, Worship leading, been doing that for years. And wow. so we know that, you know, there's songs that are a little more up tempo and energetic. You might hear those um, in a corporate setting at the top of the service, right? Yes. This is like the opening song, yes. you know, we're all, we're gonna draw uh -huh. everybody in congregationally, teach them a simple chorus, and then we'll, you know, navigate into worship. But I love the fact that I got to sit down and um, co write, did a writing session with Prashia Hilliard, another hey, amazing man. worship leader. Incredible worship leader. Incredible worship leader. Yes. Um, and then, of course, um, as far as production goes, um, Jamel Kimbrough, Todd Delaney, Delaney Land Music, you know, oh, that whole. My God. Oh, my They are incredible. Man, insane. And yes. so it was just, it was such a blessing because we had the opportunity to come together. We wrote the song with the same goal in mind mm -hmm. that, you know, we want to be able to release these songs for, yes. you know, local churches. Listen. Not everyone can do the tricky, Listen. you know, we, Trust it, me. every church doesn't have the capability, that, yes. the, the singers, but everybody wants to, we want to worship. worship. We, want to, yes. we want to give God glory. We want to give Him praise. And so I will rejoice. Straight out of mm, Psalm, Psalm 103 on. and 1, right? My God. Come Bless on. the Lord, O oh my soul, and all Wonderful. that is within me. All Bless his holy me. name. And yes. so that's the scripture reference to I will rejoice. And we just really made made a, a, a intentionality with intentionality, you know, this song that really allows for the corporate body of Christ mm. to just sing it abroad. You know, come on, come no matter on. what what your church background, my no matter God. what. <laughs> so, couldn't we use some rejoicing today? Couldn't we? Oh my With all Lord. that we have been through, literally, Listen. like, could we not use and some I was rejoicing? Say, even the songs that you've talked about previously, yeah, they speak to the time. They speak to the time. So, how does it feel for you as an artist yeah. and as a worship leader to hear the people? singing your songs in a room. Ooh, like when it sits in a room. You know yes, what I'm talking about? Yes, I know exactly. Like when the song says, okay, I, I got this part of it. You know? <laughs> yes. It is, to me, it's just, it's, I, call, I always say it's electric. It feels like, I mean, just, I imagine heaven is that, but mm. times, you know, a hundred. Because, yeah. you know. Oh, exactly. I, I, there's no comparison, I'm sure. I'm, but if I were to imagine, mm. you know, it's like when you get to hear 
all the voices, every you know, voice in a room, um, mm. you know, really just going after the heart of the Father. Very At true. the same time, there's something so electric about that to me, Hallelujah. and it is it's so humbling, and yeah. it is so moving to me. I just gotta tell you, you know, I'm so encouraged from our conversation. Mm. So full of power and the Spirit, and um, God's hand is on your life. Amen. And we believe that the best is certainly yet to come. We believe Amen. that. I receive you know, that. That God is going to put, my grandmother used to say, he'll put your name in the wind. Ooh. Oh, I love that. He'll put your name he'll put in your the name wind. put your name in the wind. Because we believe that. I say this all the time. I believe that favor is God introducing your spirit to your future. Oh. And when you get there. Somebody tweet that. I'm somebody. trying to. <laughs> Instagram. I'm I, telling you. Ooh, but that's I, good. The future's so bright for you. We're so excited oh, to have you. you. Thank I you I mean, so the much. anointing, the grace <laughs> that you have is incredible. Everyone, listen, I need y'all to go and download everything that she's ever put out. Whew. We have the incomparable. <laughs> oh, the worship. So I mean, much. I'm telling you, my sister, so proud to meet you. Oh, I'm glad to, man, this has been I'm a pleasure, you, oh a pleasure, word. a pleasure. And I feel like I've known you for years I'm already from you, the jump. That must part, be the Pentecostal thing. That's, ex- now, that's it now, mine. <laughs> I'm teasing. We're from the carry on church. We're from the my real. God. My <laughs> the, God. Church, the church of Listen, carry on. There's so much more to come after this. Corporate owned funeral homes focus on the bottom line. But at J.P. Holly Funeral Home and Crematory, we focus on you. We work with you to create a service as unique as the life you're celebrating. J.P. Holly Funeral Home and Crematory, family owned and operated since 1917. Good morning, everybody. My name is Zion Lincoln. I just wanted to ask y'all to go subscribe to my Uncle John's YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell so y'all can get notified whenever a video is posted. And also, make sure you visit his website at www.johnlakin.com. My name's Zion Lakin, and I'm here with John Lakin and Friends. Indeed. Welcome back to John Lakin and Friends. Listen, we are so excited that you decided to share with us on today. It is our prayer that something that was said today would minister to your heart right where you are listening. Right before we get out of here, I want to pray a prayer with you. Repeat after me as we talk to the Father. Say, Father, forgive me. I am a sinner, and I'm in need of your grace. Thank you for sending your son Jesus to die for me. And thank you for receiving me into your family, even now. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Listen, if you prayed that prayer, you are now a part of the body of Christ. I want you to find you a Bible-believing church where you can grow in the things of God and know that God will get in it with you. Have an incredible Sunday.